Okay, so basically I've been trying for a pretty long time now to learn how to do good backflip on skis, but they were never good. I never felt confident on them. I never felt calm in the air. never felt like I was going to stomp it every time, no matter what jump I tried it on, until recently when I guess I just figured out how to do it on my own because, to tell you the truth, none of the videos on YouTube really helped me out on how to do it the way I wanted to. I always wanted to do those huge backflips with my back arced and pop hard and be able to spot my landing the whole time and land it every time, but none of the ones on YouTube really show you how to do that, so hopefully I can help you with that. Okay, so here's a video of when I first tried my backflip on skis. I built a little jump in my yard and just thought if I hucked it I'd learn how to do it, but it was probably the worst thing I could have done because the jump wasn't big, I ended up throwing way too early, I clipped my tips and fell on my face. So pretty much this first video shows you how not to do a backflip. Okay, so here's my after to my before and after backflip shots. I think it's pretty easy to see that they are completely different, but it really didn't take much to change it. They're just minor adjustments that you have to focus on. I guess the most important thing that I had to change to fix my backflips was uh, the takeoff. Now I know it's kind of hard to see in this picture, but basically where I'm at is my heels are on the lip of the jump right now. And as you can tell, this is just does not look right. My arms are flailed back, my head's already looking back, and I just anticipated this rotation way too quickly. Now on this next frame is where you can tell things really went wrong, where I threw it way too hard because my back's already way back, but my skis are the same degree as the jump. And since I threw way too hard, that's what caused that to happen because I was impatient on the takeoff and I didn't wait to pop or wait to throw it, I just try to huck it as fast as I can to get it around. A lot of people tend to do this just because the nerves build up and that's the instinctive thing to do. Well, at least that's what it was for me. Okay, now I kind of hope this compare and contrast thing helps uh, you guys out. Now this next uh, photo I got up here, it's the takeoff for the backflip I showed at the beginning of the video, the after shot, where instead of my back being completely back like you just saw, it's straight up and down, with my skis kind of going with the jump. I cropped out all the background for you so that you can kind of see a little bit clear what's going on. In the past video my back was almost parallel to my skis whereas now it's perpendicular to my skis and and that makes a big difference because when you wait a little bit longer and you don't just throw it back you're gonna be blind for a second but um you're really gonna be a lot smoother in the rotation than if you were just to throw it back real hard. The next thing that really contributed to my back foot looking a lot better was popping on the takeoff opposed to just kind of absorbing the jump and absorbing the energy you get going up the lip. Now as you can see after I replayed it a whole bunch of times, I come up to the jump with a really uh, strong stance, my feet about shoulder width apart, and I'm standing straight up kind of right on my toes, not leaning back, not leaning forward, and then I kind of go up with the slope of the jump. And then right as you get to the beginning of the jump, you got to kind of bend your knees a little bit. And right when you get to the end of it, you got to just a nice easy pop and just kind of jump up a little bit. But if you do it too much, it'll be a jerky motion and you're going to feel uncomfortable. But the smoother you do it, the smoother your takeoff is going to be and the better your backflip is going to feel in the air. The last two things you got to do is once you kind of come up and you reach your vertical, you got to look back and look at your landing and spot your landing. And then right after you spot your landing, you're going to hold it as long as you need to to space it out for the size of the jump. And then you're going to snap your knees in. So that's basically how you're going to do a backflip on your skis. you got to wait on the takeoff. you got to be patient. Then you're going to pop slowly. Then you're going to spot your landing. Then you're going to hold it. And last but not least, you're going to pull your knees in and then just land it.